this video, I'm going to talk about one of the more powerful ways you can customize the generator and the meal plans for your clients, which is through recurring foods and collections. So real quick, uh, in your own interface here, there's this foods tab, which kind of uh, condenses a lot of the options that uh, we have in the normal premium accounts. And if you click on this uh, collections down here, you can kind of see we have a few featured collections. Um, and also I've created a few collections on this test trainer account, uh, protein shakes, favorite recipes, sandwiches, you can create your own collections up here. Um, so real quick, I'm going to, you can, you can kind of set up, uh, these settings from the manage client screen by editing their settings and adding recurring foods. Uh, you can also add collections as recurring foods and then, uh, select for a meal like I want this meal to only be generated using my recurring foods and collections and that lets you really customize um, what uh, real quick I'm just going to show you here really customize what the foods the generator uses for a meal are so I could say in this uh, in this section I want this meal to only use these protein shakes for breakfast um, before I customize more, I'm going to kind of show you what it looks like to customize these things from inside the user's account. So in the client management screen, I can say switch to this user's account, and that will actually bring me to the interface that they would see if they were using their own account directly in the this much interface. And you'll kind of see this banner that kind of reminds you uh, that you are looking at your client's account just in case uh, so you don't forget. So the only meal plan that this uh, client currently has is one I applied in the last video from a saved plan. Um, so if you go over to recurring foods, you can kind of see this thing that I just added here. Uh, if you go to collections, your clients can actually see all of your own collections uh, under this trainer collections section. So if you want the client to be able to use these collections, uh, you can quickly go in here and uh, maybe let's say I want uh, sandwiches as a lunch. You can kind of say uh, add this collection to lunch uh, and go over to the recurring foods and kind of see that here. Maybe you also want to add some other things to lunch like uh, like a chicken taco casserole here. And you can kind of just add individual foods by dragging them from this search food sidebar. And then the next time you regenerate a plan, it'll listen to these uh, settings here and only use protein shakes, only use your sandwiches and this extra taco casserole recipe when generating these plans. And if you leave something like dinner and snack open, it has more variety there to kind of make sure it balances out all the macronutrient targets. Um, so let's see, you can kind of do this for any... Uh, do this for any food and that's how you can really customize the plans to match maybe your own style that your client might expect from a meal plan you create and that kind of wraps up uh, one of the more powerful features of eat this much uh, if you have any questions feel free to email us at support at eat this much.com or leave a comment in the video and we'll try to get back to you thanks